In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send MIDI out of your Akai Force so you can control a multi-timbral synth like the Digitone. Check it out. What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton and I like to help you create music. And on this channel, I do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews just like this one. Recently, I did a song with the Akai Force in the Digitone. So I actually sent the MIDI out of the Akai Force into the Digitone and I released that video and people were asking how I actually had the MIDI configuration set up. In fact, WhiteFog72 said, nice, MIDI config please. So the Digitone does have four different tracks. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the Akai Force so you can actually can control each one of those tracks with the Akai Force. And you could go ahead and program notes in the Akai Force and it will trigger the notes on the Digitone. So on the left is the Electron Digitone, on the right is the Akai Force. So the first thing that needs to be done is go ahead and connect all your power cables, put your audio cables where you want them. I have my audio cables going from my Electron into my mixer and from my Kai Force into my mixer. The next thing you need to do is go ahead and connect the MIDI cable. So the Digitone does have a MIDI input. So if you look right here, this is MIDI in. So here's MIDI in, MIDI out, MIDI through. So I wanna put this into the cable into the MIDI in. Okay, and then I need to put this part of the cable into the MIDI out of the Akai Force. So go ahead and take a look at the back panel on the Akai Force. This right here is actually the MIDI out. And you can see the cable didn't have that kind of connection. So what we have to do is use the included MIDI connector adapter. This came with the Akai Force. So this end goes right here into MIDI out. Okay, and then you can see it converts it to the regular, you know, five pin MIDI right there. So I'm gonna place this down. So once that's plugged in there, you take the other end of that MIDI cable that we plugged into the Digitone and you plug it into that adapter. All right. So the next thing to do is go ahead and power on the units. So I'm going to go ahead and power them on. So once both the units are powered on, there are a few things we have to do to each one of them to get it to work properly. So let's go ahead and start with the Digitone. Right here is the function button. Right here is the MIDI button. And underneath the MIDI button, it says MIDI config. So push function, MIDI, all right. And this menu, there is sync, port config, channels. First thing you need to do is go to port config. Once in port config, right here it says input from MIDI USB. So just make sure that this is actually accepting MIDI. So once that is configured, go ahead and go down. Make sure you can actually receive MIDI notes from your MIDI input. Make sure that box is checked. Right here it says channels. Go ahead and go into channels. So you can see track one channel, track two channel, track three channel, track four channel. Okay, so track one channel is set to one, track two channel is set to two, three is set to three, four is set to four. So this is important to note, okay? You can change these however you see fit. So maybe you want track one to be on five. You could do that. It's just up to you. Just make sure you know what track is set to which MIDI channel. I'm gonna put it back to one. So there's one, two, three, and four, just like that. I'm going to get out of these menus. So that's set. Let's go ahead and focus on the Akai Force. Go ahead and open a project in the Akai Force. I'm just going to use empty project, keep it simple. So default, you have a plugin track and an audio track. And you can see up here, there's a plus. So when you push plus, go ahead and pick MIDI. I'm going to pick four of them. Okay, so each one of these MIDI tracks is going to correlate with the Digitone. So whenever you create a MIDI track inside of the Akai Force, it also creates a MIDI program. So I'm gonna tap into here, double tap. Track settings, general settings. So if you want to, you could rename the track here. For example, I can name this Digi Track One. Do it. So I wanna assign this track on the Akai Force to track one in the Electron Digitone. You could change your color here. You could change your transpose there. Right here is MIDI port. There's only one MIDI port, so keep that on one. Right here is MIDI channel. So there's actually 16 MIDI channels on that one MIDI port. You can see right there, 16. So I'm gonna select MIDI channel one, 
because MIDI channel one is going to come out of the Akai Force and trigger track one inside the Electron Digitone. Under here, you can see Program Change. I'm going to talk about this in a future video. Go ahead and close that. So now this MIDI track is set up to trigger the MIDI inside the Electron Digitone. So here's track one. So this indicates track one. It's set to Digi One. So if I press a note on here, you're going to be able to hear it. So that's Digi One. I could turn it up a little bit. Okay. So that's what that sounds like on the Digitone. So if I push this here, it's going to be the same note. All right, now I do want to note this. I can actually change the track on the Digitone. Okay, so now I'm on track two. This is what track two sounds like. Okay, and then on here, if I press this, it's still triggering track one. Just some information for you. So let's go ahead and configure the other three MIDI tracks up here. And we basically configure them exactly the same way as we did this MIDI track. So go ahead and tap in the MIDI 2. See right here, MIDI 2. Now I'm not going to rename it. I already showed you how to do that, so you could do that on your own. Right here is MIDI channel 1. Change that to MIDI channel 2. Go ahead and move on to MIDI 3 here. Okay, change that to MIDI channel 3. Go to MIDI 04. Change that to MIDI channel 4. So now this track correlates with track one on the Digitone. This is track two on the Digitone. This is track three on the Digitone. This is track four. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and MIDI sync these two. This way you could go ahead and have these synced. And then I want to show you how to actually change the different patterns in here. So you can actually program patterns in the Digitone and change the pattern number within the Akai Force. Click right there to go ahead and see that video. All right, so track one, track two, track three, track four are all represented here. So if I select three here, which is track one, as a matter of fact, let me just delete these two channels here. So now we have four tracks. So the first track right here on the Akai Force correlates with track one on the Digitone. The second track is track two. Third track is track three. The fourth track is track four. Track one on the Digitone is red. So if I wanted to make this track right here red, Tap in there, change the color. Okay, fire, close. So now that is red. Now this one's already yellow. You can see right here, this is already yellow. It's kind of an orange yellow, but maybe we could change it to an orange yellow. Apricot, close it. There you go. So that's kind of closer to right there. It's like an apricot color. Right here is green. It's already green there. So track four is kind of like a fuchsia color. So let me go ahead and tap into there. And fuchsia, close it. All right. So track one, two, three, four, all the colors match up there. So let's go ahead and hear the sound. So if I select the first track. Okay, so those correlate. Second track, second track. Those correlate. Third track. Okay, let's go ahead and change the sound of the third track. All right, pick that one, sure. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and change the sound, the fourth track. Okay, so that's what that one sounds like. And right there. So there you have it. That's how you set up your Akai Force with your Digitone. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. If you want more videos about the Akai Force, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to check out a playlist on the Akai Force, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here. It's going to take you over to a playlist so you can check out other videos about the Akai Force. And if you want to see my latest video, go ahead and click or tap the screen right there. My name is Matthew. Continue to create music and we'll talk soon.